you know, it is what we have come to expect at Bristol Motor Speedway. Yes, we saw a few tempers. Yes, we saw a few pointing fingers at other drivers. But we also saw Kyle Busch once again in victory lane. From inside the Quicken Loans ESPN Pit Studio, I am Nicole Briscoe. Alongside Rusty Wallace, Brad Doherty, and Ray Everham 15 times. That's how many times Kyle has won at this track. Six times in the Nationwide Series. He made it look easy tonight. But... It may not be so easy during the cup race tomorrow. This was qualifying. Oh, yeah, he just gets too high, gets out of the groove, spins the car, tears the quarter panel all up in this car. They've repaired it. Now he's starting dead last in the big 500 lapper tomorrow night, Sunday, or Sunday, Saturday night here in Bristol. Yeah, if anyone can come from the back, though, and be a threat, it'll be Kyle Busch. We saw him last year have a speeding penalty and go to the back and ended up finishing second. So that was a little bit earlier in the day. Tonight, for this race, he started on pole. Much easier to handle that one. Yeah, easy, but there he is, three wide. Makes a wild move around here to get to the outside of young Kyle Larson. Goes on, just totally dominates this race, leads the most laps, and runs away from the field. This guy is great here. Kyle Busch led 228 laps in which to his sixth Bristol win in the Nationwide Series. You know, he swept the weekend here a few years ago. He's already a Truck Series winner this weekend. He has the Nationwide Series race tonight. Can he do it again tomorrow? Well, here's how they'll line up during Saturday night's race. Teammate Denny Hamlin on pole will start alongside Kyle's older brother. Kurt, any surprises in the top ten? I think a big surprise is Denny Hamlin. He's had a really tough time here the last couple months. It's a good, pleasant surprise to see him on the pole for a more nice race. As we move on, Mark Martin in for the injured Tony Stewart. Mark Martin will be in that 14 car the rest of the season, yeah. with the exception of Tyler Dagan. Yeah, looking forward Solid to Mark. He'll, he'll do a great job. And also about number 34, David Reagan, a good top ten qualifying opportunity for David. A little bit further back, Bobby Labonte. Danica Patrick, there she is, row 11. That's had some good roads here. Yeah, and we're going to the next page. A little bit further back, we see some familiar names. Jeff Gordon, wow. that far back. Bad qualifying for him. Going to yeah. be a tough night for Jeff if he can't move forward. Then, of course, on this very last page, the final three drivers, Kyle Busch starting 43rd. Let's talk about that because the challenge tomorrow night against a stacked Cup Series field and starting 43rd, probably going to be a little bit bigger than if it had happened, say, here tonight. Yeah, a bigger challenge. In fact, Kyle, we're talking to him and Victor Lane, and he said this would be tough for him all night, although we know he's talented here. We know if anybody can get there in front, it can be Kyle, but, hey, this is tough out here. The high line has really came in here at Bristol Motor Speedway. It's made it tough for these guys. We've seen spins in practice. We've seen crashes in a nationwide series. This is going to be a, what I call a real Framman and Bam on Saturday night. Framman and, and Bam. Bam. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I, and I think that high line will come in. We thought it would come in a little bit more tonight with the nationwide race, but I think with the higher horsepower cars, we're going to see some guys really trying to push the edge up there and get a good bite off those corners. And so we could see a few more accidents, a few more wrecks. That gives Kyle Busch an opportunity to advance his position and possibly through pit stops and cautions work his way towards the front. And, guys, even though that high line was a fast way around tonight, we saw the guys that moved to the front were cars that were able to pass on the bottom. I think they're going to need to do that tomorrow night. Maybe they will be able to do it with the more horsepower, but I agree with you, it could cause some problems. Going to need to pass on the bottom tomorrow to get to the front. Certainly had a dirt track feel at least a little bit for tonight. So Kyle Busch, once again the winner in the Nationwide Series, the sixth time he has done so in this series at this particular track. The big question is, what can he do under the lights Saturday night? In Bristol, will he once again be hosting, hoisting that trophy? 